We're gonna make grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay, so we have this white bread that I bought from Costco, one of our favorite brands, Dave's Killer Bread. And we rarely buy sliced bread, so I thought, you know what, let's make some grilled cheese. For the cheese, I like to shred it fresh. So I've got some cheddar cheese, I got some mozzarella cheese. The cheddar cheese is from a local company called Tillamook. When I say local, just Pacific Northwest. And we just like to use a medium cheddar cheese. So I always have butter just left out to get to room temperature and this is gonna make it way easier to spread onto the bread. Do you guys wanna help? Okay, here. For lunch, it's gonna be grilled cheese. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the butter on. Hey, don't smash it though. This one's, Be this one's Bella's, so you're gonna put it on the bread like that. There you go, and then you get yours. There you go, spread it on there. Good. All we're doing here is taking this room temperature butter, which is actually kind of cold, because it's cold in the house, spreading it all over. You want plenty of butter all around. More butter, more better. Now some people, they put it on the pan, but I like to put it right in the bread so you can evenly spread it all over. Mm. Is it good? You like butter? It's okay if it's not even because as it melts off the bread, it's gonna go on the pan. You just wanna make sure you cover mm. <laughs> all the different parts of the bread. Okay, obviously do the other side. You know, it's interesting because this is white bread, but I think they're using, what are they using here? It says, white bread done right. No bleach flour, five super grains. So they've got quinoa, spelt, rye, and millet in there. All right, good job, girls. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Mm, it mm -hmm. tastes like salty. It tastes kind of salty? Yeah, so we're using salted butter. Hey, 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 you don't eat this butter. Okay, there we go. That's done. Here, let me help you out. See here, this is what you gotta do. You gotta have the flat edge like this to be able to spread it. If you poke at it like this, you're just gonna poke holes into it. Okay, there you go. You wanna try it? Do that one, okay? Thank you. So that's good for the bread. Let's go ahead and move on to the cheese. Okay, okay, no more eating it. I made sure to get three pairs of toast ready to go. Hey, Bella, I, I like your style right there, okay? That's gonna be great. I bet it's gonna be crispy, okay? So, you know, this is partly just to have fun. Okay, now we're gonna do the cheese, okay? Can you guys help me with the cheese? Okay, here, let's just take this away. You guys are done with this. Put your bread and put it on the, there. Put it on here. Good. Yep. Leah, before your bread falls, put it up here. Now that you guys are all done. Come on. Good job. What? Okay, now it's time for the cheese, okay? Here. I know you need more, okay? Hold this. There you go. And you shred the cheese. You got to hold it like this, okay? There you go. Go like that. Good. And see, like when you do that, when you do this, look, look underneath. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys are gonna take turns. Daddy, are going? Yeah, here, Daddy's gonna help you guys, okay? You, you, and Bella's next. Good job. Lift it up. Wow, look at that. Yep, and then when you guys are done, you'll do the other cheese. Okay, that's good for that cheese, okay? Now, Bella gets to do this one, okay? Good, and then the other hand, hold it. There you go, you go like this. Hold it, hold it, there you go. Look at that, you guys are so good. You wanna do this one? Okay, go ahead, you have to, other way. Come here, hold the cheese, there you go. There you go, yeah, you gonna eat it? Go ahead. Here, go ahead, come on, come on. Nice. Good, all right. Daddy's just gonna get it going real fast. Mm-hmm. All right, don't eat too much cheese, okay? Do, 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 do. Mmm. Mmm, is it really good? Dun, 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 dun. The yellow cheese, I think you're gonna like the yellow cheese even more, Bella. This one's called cheddar. Can you say cheddar? Say cheddar cheese. 
You don't like cheddar cheese? I like this one. You like the white one? Go ahead, try the cheddar. Mm -mm. There we go. Okay, here. Let's scoot all this over here. There we go. Don't eat too much, girls, okay? You're gonna get blocked up. Okay, girls, so next we have to build the grilled cheese. Do you understand what that means? We have to build it, okay? So first, here, what? You put this one over here, okay? This one, we're just gonna make sure to keep track. Yeah, put a little bit of cheese on it, like this. Okay, we're just gonna make sure to put that one. Hey, hey, you know, it's okay. This is not broken, okay? Oh, that's enough cheese. Not too much, okay? You just spread it around like this. Okay, oh, hold on. We gotta put meat on there first, okay? So we're gonna make this protein filled. Gonna get a little bit of ham. I'm gonna do this one. What's that? You wanna do that one? No, no, we're gonna build it. Watch, watch what we're gonna do. Here, put the ham on there. Put it right on top. There we go. Can you put this one? Oh, you got more cheese. You need more cheese. Come on. There you go. No, more, more cheese. Yeah, more, more cheese. There we go. More cheese? Good. Now you put another layer of cheese on there. Good job. <laughs> okay, don't I'm eat good cheese just yet, girl. Mm. That girl, she loves her meat. She's a meat eater. Okay, now put cheese on top. You put no. some of this cheese, okay? I don't want this cheese. You don't want that one? There you go. Yeah. That is good job. Recently, I just did a grilled cheese challenge with my buddy Matt, and it was just interesting watching him make a grilled cheese. But one thing that he does that I just started recently doing as well is shredding the cheese. There's a lot of fillers and hey, things, things inside of pre-shredded cheese that affects the flavor. I just find that especially if you can mix a cheese like this, it melts differently. So uh, I highly suggest shredding your cheese fresh. Yeah, go ahead. But that's it after that, okay? You guys are gonna get blocked up. Okay, girls, take your bread now. Girls, you're gonna take your bread. You're gonna put it on top like this, okay? Go ahead, you put it on top, put it on top. Butter side up, there you go. No, Bella, you have to put it on top. Oh yeah, this is a floppy one that kind of broke. No, put it on top. No, no, not. Well, oh, I guess you could do that. So with the leftover cheese, because we got quite a bit, what I do is I put it in a Ziploc bag and then it's good for a couple more days. So don't worry about the extra cheese. Okay girls, now we have to cook. You have to practice patience, but it's totally worth that. Like getting them involved. And even Juliana surprised me. She just can cook whatever completely all by herself. Now I know there's kids out there like five years old, like super chef, but uh, I'm good with them just starting with grilled cheese. Okay, good. Hold up a sec. I have to clear this area first, okay? Shredded cheese, just no comparison flavor wise. Also how it uh, just melts. So if you want that cheese pull, Another reason I like shredded cheese too is because you can mix multiple cheeses and it's easier to stack onto the grilled cheese. This is why I like these foldable cutting boards because you can just do this, put it right in. Then you don't waste any of that leftover cheese that you shredded. Now oftentimes what I'll do, I have some more here. I will use this for grilled cheese on another day, maybe tomorrow or the next day, or even just put it inside the omelet. So. There you go. It's not rocket science, it's just, it's totally worth it. Try it. You know, I'm gonna put the link too, to a lot of the products I'm using if you're curious about shopping for them because YouTube has this new function where you can buy stuff right in the screen. Okay, so I'm using the Zol Judushi griddle here. It's just the most convenient way to do this. Just plug this into the side here. Turn it on. Get it heated up. Hey girls, watch out. Don't touch this, okay? This is Aoi Aoi too. Thank you. This girl already knows what to get. She got the spatula, the big pink piggy one. Show me your spatula. Yeah, that's good. See, I wanna use the one that can really slide in underneath there. So this is just about at 300. If you do it at too high of a heat, it's gonna burn the outside of the grilled cheese, but it's not gonna melt the actual cheese inside. So I like to do it on a low heat for longer. That's how you're gonna get that golden brown, crispy, crusty outside, but the inside's gonna be nice and melty. So low heat when you're making grilled cheese. It's hot, okay? So if you touch this, owie owie, you understand? So we have to be very what? Careful. Careful, that's right. There we go, okay. 
Just slide it underneath. Got to be very careful. And go slowly. Two hands, please. There you go. Good job. Hey, I have to help you. There we go. Then slide it underneath. Whoop. Ah. <laughs> Shoot. This is actually not really smart to do it with a spatula because uh, it sticks. The butter sticks. So here, Daddy's just going to do this. This is how it needs to be done. I'm just going to lift it over there, okay? Like that. Thank you. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Good job. There we go. Low heat. Nice and slow. It's mine. It's my story. I'm going to do one first, okay? So one thing is, I like I said, I like to do it slow, but oh, look at that. Look at that. That's not I'm golden brown. That. You're going to do that? You're going to do this one? Okay. Here, let's move your chair closer. I wasn't paying attention, so we got to do it quick. Come on. There you go. Flip it. Good. That's still good. We'll make sure the other side is golden brown. I'm going to turn down the heat, actually. Here, let's do it together. i got to hold one side. There you go. It's still going to be good. This one, this one's perfect. This is the one you made. High five, girl. I did let it cook a little bit longer than I normally would, uh, but that's okay. This is the extent of which I would normally let it cook. See, I like to flip it a few times, but this, this griddle gets super hot, even on that low setting. That's one thing that's interesting about this. You want it to get really hot, but... I'm actually eating now. You want to eat it now? So as it's cooking, one thing I do like to do is kind of check if it's melting on the inside, and it's definitely melting because it is super hot. That's good. That's real nice. That's what you want right here. Woo -hoo -hoo. No, no. And if you don't put enough butter, it's not going to get that golden brownness. There you go. Put it on here. Very nice. Did you want to do this one too? This one's yours. Remember, it's hot, so be careful, okay? Very good. And let Daddy do the last one because it's kind of far. Or can you do it? There you go. Auntie Mel's going to do cheese crisps. All right, so perfectly golden brown, at least one side. The other side is just a little bit over. I just like to cut these in half. Let me know in the comments, are you uh, cut across or cut diagonal? What kind of grilled cheese person are you, huh? I don't know if this is going to do cheese pull, though. We'll see. Let's see if this does any kind of cheese pull. A little bit. Take one of these. This one. I bet I could get a cheese pull out of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Mmm. So good. All right, there you go. There's yours. About luck, come on. Let's go. Hey, how's it taste? Yeah. Look at that cheese pull. <laughs> Look at that cheese pull. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Wow. Yeah. The key is plenty of butter. Shred your cheese in the low heat, lower heat. I got Auntie Mel's cheese crisps. This is literally the legit grilled cheese right here. You know what's interesting though? Bella, she put cheese not only on the inside of her grilled cheese, she put it on the outside. See? And then it grilled to a crisp on the bread. I've seen fancy grilled cheese places do that. Mo, you want one of these? Thank you very much for your help. You did a great job cooking those grilled cheese. Yeah. You did a great job shredding that cheese and making the grilled cheese. Bella, is it good? <laughs>